بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, طبعا احنا في تشابتر 4 اوكي تشابتر 4 از ريليتد تو ذا ريسيرش فيلوسوفي اي نو ذيس تشابتر از سام تايم از ا بيس اوف هيدك بيكوز ذا ذا كي ووردز ان ذيس تشابتر از سام تايمز فانسي ووردز اند could be, uh, is not related to what you've been uh, studied uh, before. So, uh, uh, there are uh, different terminologies uh, will be available in this chapter um, related to the uh, research methodology. Um, first of all, I will uh, show you uh, this, this picture. Um, what this picture? Tree. It's a tree. What, what you observe in, the, in this tree? The it's a big one and a small one. Okay, fine. This big one and this is large one. What, what else? You see the big picture? Yeah. Okay, what else? What we see So if we write down what you uh, said, uh, some people say hudu. Okay, tabia. It's we have uh, large and small. Okay. Anyway, ah, بس تحكوا معايا. ممنوع تحكوا مع بعض. Ah, تفضل. Green. What you observe also in this picture? Okay. Okay. What you observe in the tree? Let's see the tree. With the thimar. With the thimar. With the thimar. Okay. Do you see? Shayfin, and you just the flowers, or not Shayfin? Flowers. There are other flowers, Shayfin. شايفين الساق مظبوط طيب let's go to the the second picture what you see in this picture what you what is the difference between the previous one and this one هنا تفصيل تفصيل what what else which which hidden where is the difference the roots, yes, roots. In the in the previous picture, uh, we don't see underneath the tree, but in the second picture, uh, we see the, uh, the, the 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 roots. In addition, we see some uh, issues. Uh, it 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 means in in research philosophy, the research philosophy is. Uh, things much related to this part. What you observe in your research uh, is this part. But in the research philosophy, you should discuss the underneath, uh, the just the uh, the ground of your research, the abstract of of your research, uh, the very limited number of uh, of researchers that are focusing on this part. Uh, why you are doing research is related to this area, but the research is here. And in other terms, the methodology and methods in, in, in this picture. If you go back to the, uh, to the previous picture, uh, it see uh, above the grounds, things above the grounds, but is not, uh, uh, the picture is not giving me some uh, details what is going on underneath. And this, this tree is not disconnected from its roots. And this is why in the, uh, in the research, uh, uh, sometimes uh, the research philosophy is in the, uh, the subject and sometimes is not in the subject. And this is uh, give us the question, is it important to know the research philosophy or not? هل من مهم إحنا نعرف الفلسفة البحث ولا لا؟ أكيد. 
another, ex another example. Is it important that the researchers write the research philosophy or not? Yes, yeah, so we have answer here. Okay, what else? Is it important to understand the research philosophy? Yes or no? هل هل مهم إحنا نفهم فلسفة البحث؟ Yes. Uh, is it important to write it down in your research? No. Yeah. So some people saying yes, and uh, it is important to uh, to understand your research philosophy. It is important, but it is not important to include it in your research because if you look at any article any journal article or any thesis or any uh, any thesis or any uh, assignment uh, it's barely or hardly to find the uh, the research philosophy in your research but you have to understand the research philosophy because research philosophy dictate uh, your uh, research uh, methodology and research methods if you think that the uh, this is the tree, okay, and uh, this is the roots, uh, the roots here uh, represent the research philosophy. The research philosophy uh, includes uh, two different two main parts. The first one is the ontology, and the second part is epistemology. Uh, so the roots of science, in, in general, uh, you are talking underneath, underneath uh, your research. Um, it's the roots of your research uh, is related to your epistemology position and your ontology position. I, I know you are not familiar with these two different keywords because these two keywords is granted uh, or abstracted from the Greeks' philosophy from Plato, from Dark, uh, uh, Dax and uh, Socrates uh, and other, uh, Thomas More and other philosophers. So in, in this case, in, in the research methodology, uh, it is important to understand your research philosophy, but it is not that much important to include it in, in, in your research. And then, uh, after understanding the epistemology and uh, epistemology and ontology, uh, it dictates the rest of your research, which is related to the methodology. Uh, methodology, uh, it's it's the uh, it's the uh, theory of or the it's the knowledge of of methods, or the philosophy of uh, of methods, and then the methods and the leaves. Consider I like approaches, uh, results, and you have the results, data collection and results. So, so again, uh, we will go in details uh, on understanding the uh, ontology and epistemology. The uh, ontology is related to the uh, uh, related to the uh, knowledge of being. Uh, epistemology is related to the theory of knowledge. يعني إحنا الأنطولوجي هي علم الوجود whether the, the reality is exist or not. The reality is one reality or, or multi version of realities. The epistemology how we uh, know what we know or what is the uh, how we access the knowledge how we know the, uh, the knowledge and is much related to the theory of knowledge. إلى علاقة بشكل مباشر في نظرية المعرفة. Okay. Uh, so we will go in details in both two uh, ontological and epistemological uh, aspects. Okay. Uh, look at this onion. It's it's a research onion. Uh, it's it's important uh, to understand the the first one. If you look at here, it is the philosophy, which is the main uh, core in, in your uh, study. Uh, if 
you answer the philosophy question, then you can go in details uh, about the rest of, uh, of, your, uh, of your study. Uh, you can go to the data collection. Okay. Come on. Okay. كيف؟ الكتابة هذه مش مشكلة. لما ن so this is the research onion. If you look at the research onion here, you have multi layers. Starting from the research philosophy, as we explained, it's uh, it's underneath, which determine uh, it has two aspects: ontology and uh, epistemology. And when uh, the ontology and uh, epistemology, it determine your philosophical point of view, uh, which is coming from positivist. Look at here, posit positivist, until uh, goes to the pragmatism. Pragmatism. So, it, in its journey from positivism to pragmatism, it go through the realism and interpretivism. Okay. Uh, uh, again, I know it's it's something complicated, but uh, I will give you example to uh, uh, to break the ice on these issues. So, don't worry uh, about the realism and interpretivism. Then. Uh, when you determine your philosophical uh, position, then you go to, uh, you are either deductive or inductive. If you observe, if you observe in this onion here, uh, if your philosophical position is perspective, uh, positivism, then you are deductive. So I, I will give you an example. Uh, it's, it's a real example here in this class. Uh, if I ask you, uh, if I ask you a little question, uh, what you observe in this class? Ish into shayfin fi hala sa. Students. Students. Ah, let's see. Students. Ah, uh, you have teacher. Video lecture. Ah. Yes. Okay. Videoing. Okay. What else? The, the more answers you give me, the more understanding. Uh, no, I'm asking you. I, I know the answers. Uh, so uh, I can answer in different ways. OK, so if I ask you again the question, what, what you observe? Students. Students, OK. OK. Discussions, OK. What else? Okay, more points. Yeah, why are you laughing? She observed this. Oh, what you noticed also? Knowledge. What is the knowledge? Sorry. Okay, uh, uh, you can answer. Information. Uh, delivering some information. Uh, all these things observed. Do you observe other things? Do you observe other things? Furniture. Okay, you have furniture. Okay. Okay, the, the class. What, what other things? What, what, what you observe? You. Yeah, please, what you observe? Huh? Oh, yeah. What, <laughs> yes. What, what he's doing? What, what you observe? What, what other things you observe in this meeting? Sorry? Okay, uh, so, so let, let's, say, let's say in other, in, in other words, what, what you observe is what you observed. Again, what you observed is what you observed. You observe what is uh, on the ground, okay? So, you have students, you have uh, teachers, you have cameras, you have... So, it's facts. Do you obse observe other things? Oh, please. So, for, for, for me, I observe different things. I observe some people smiling. Yeah, so it's a student talking to each other. Why you are not observing this? 
I observe some students are upset. Some, some students are uh, uh, laughing, others they are okay, sleeping, others. So the more you give uh, your brain time to see a particular phenomenon, then you can extract, extract more knowledge or more information. And sometimes, uh, as a mission for you as a research, uh, it's unconscious, unconsciously, you say, it's a students, we have a students. It's unconsciously, because your brain is positivist. What it means, positivist, it's you account number of students. So we have 50 students in the meeting. We have one teacher in the meeting. We have uh, the cameraman in the meeting. We have uh, lights. We have all of these things are facts. So as long as you are talking about facts, then you are positivist. You positivist, it means you count them. Okay, you can measure them. You have number of chairs, you have cameras, you have number of lights, okay, number of students. Uh, however, when you are talking about the number of students, uh, you talk at a student as an object. So be careful for what, what the terminologies that I use. You are use a student as object. Object. But you didn't mention for the relationship between students. Only uh, one of the students mentioned, oh, some students, they are talking together. They, are, they, are, they, they contact each, each other. So this observation, it's go underneath your observation. OK, I will give you the, the example again, what you observed. OK, what you observed in the class. Uh -huh. huh? Okay, uh, it, it, so machines. Again, uh, uh, I, I repeated the question uh, to motivate you to think in different ways. But still you are interested to, to be or to think in a positive way. Positive is not mean the positive that you know positive, okay, plus. No, it doesn't mean this. It means you are figuring out things in a very numeric issues. You see the facts. For instance, if I describe the car, see it has four wheels and four windows, four doors, and etc. You are not talking about the functions of the car, which is different, okay? So it's, uh, it's, it's important, what is the level you are looking at? And your brain is bringing you to a particular place that's reflecting your experience. So positivism is much related to the facts, okay? It's facts, number of students, number of lights, okay? Uh, number of people, so we can tell uh, okay, the relationship between the size of the class and the number of students. If we bring 200 students to this class, uh, we, co we couldn't afford them in this class. So we build the relationship between two different items in terms of numbers. So we have 200 students, we cannot bring them to this class. So 200 students and the space of the class is not going together in terms of of the space. But if we bring 50 students on this class, okay, the, the class can afford them. So it's building the relationship between the figures. Uh, also, it's uh, a relation to the, to the, to the positivism. Uh, and we go through the, the, the realism. Uh, the realism is related to the, it's real. We have 45 students. It's real. There's only one reality. It's only one reality exists. Can you claim we have more than 45 students? No, because it's real 45 students. You can talk about the space. You can see, okay, we have four cameras. Okay, so it's, it's real four cameras. 
uh, you cannot claim that we have six or seven cameras. So realism, it accepts only one reality. And again, for the relationship between X and Y, it's real relationship between the space of this room and the number of students. The more number of students we have, we have the more space in the rooms. So this is the, it's, it's real. Look at the onion again. Uh, you have a space between the, uh, the realism and interpretivism. What it means, interpretivism? The interpretivism, it means how you perceive the knowledge. How, what is your expectation regarding the, the, the knowledge? And in this way, it means you may accept different realities, different version of realities. You may accept, OK, uh, uh, we have many students around. Uh, some students are laughing and talking to each other. Uh, we may ask a question uh, whether uh, they not respect the class or other things. If you are positivist, if you are positivist, you construct your reality according to the rules in the class. It means any students talking in the class without any permission, it means uh, it's uh, violate the rules, okay? But let's put in different ways. Do you observe students talking together? If yes, okay, why they are talking together? Whether they want to violate the rules or they are discussing the questions. If they are discussing the questions. So in this way, you accept, you give your, your time or your brain to accept the different version of realities. Okay? إنه إحنا نسمح لنفسنا نختبر أكثر من reality. So the realism and the uh, uh, the interpretivism are opposite to each other. Reality only accepts one real things. The number of students in the class are 50. The students are laughing in the class because they violate the rules. But in the relativism, it's different. If we go back to the number of students, we say, okay, we have 50 students in the class because they are like this course. So it's different now. So we connect, we connect the presence of a student with, with different realities. The student coming to this class because, okay, uh, they like this meeting. Okay, they have many things to, uh, to deliver, they have many things to, to talk. So just, we are not dealing with the student as numbers. Numbers. As an object. We talk about student as a subject. Okay, we may accept some student coming to this class, not to, uh, to have the knowledge. Uh, the student coming to class because their dads are mom because their parents. So it's another explanation for the reality of having a student in this meeting. Yani reality about the tulab, okay, because they are enrolled in this meeting, in this class. Yes, they are enrolled, but there is another explanation why the students are here. So I, I, I don't want to go in details because uh, in, in the next uh, uh, slides we will uh, see the, uh, uh, the in-depth meeting. The pragmatism, they don't care. The pragmatism, it, it, they don't care whether I accept one reality or accept multi version of reality. So the research question by itself, it leads me to, to accept one reality or multi version of reality. So this is why it's called pragmatism. And the pragmatism, it is not necessarily to talk about the research philosophy. The most important things in the pragmatism, whether your research question is working or not, whether the results of your research is working or not. This is pragmatism. 
يعني نتائج البحث تبعتكم هل بتعمل تحسين إلها انعكاسات مهمة so what is the what is the implications of the other philosophies if your research question is not working or if the answers on research question is not applicable for for instance if you suggest recommendations in your research and these recommendations are not feasible so it is not worth your research so the pragmatism looking at the outcomes of your research it doesn't matter what is your research engines يعني بغض النظر عن research engines تبعتنا كثير مهم نتطلع على pragmatisms okay And then you can talk about whether uh, uh, you can talk about you are deductive or inductive. And uh, deductive, it means you are a pro positivism and realist. Inductive, you are pro relativism or relatives and pragmatic. Okay, so this is the uh, the idea of the recession engines. So. After setting the parameters of your research philosophy, now you go all of the grounds. Uh, so this is underneath, and then, uh, okay, I'm positivist, then I'm deductive, then after that, okay, I may use one of these uh, methods, uh, survey, case study, action research, sorry? Deductive or inductive, yeah, I will explain them. Okay, uh, survey, case study, experiments, etc. Okay, so the uh, the research philosophy is much related how the knowledge is developed. Kiftam tatwir al marifa is much related to the knowledge paradigm. Knowledge. Paradigm. Uh, also, I will go in details about the knowledge paradigm. So, uh, if you go back to your research, you should develop how the knowledge related to your research is emerged and developed. Because you are not disengaged from the rest of others. لأنه إحنا مش مفصولين عن others. You are not the first one to come and to investigate a particular uh, social and economic phenomenon. So it's important to you to, to see how the knowledge is developed and what are the mechanisms by which the knowledge is developed. وإيش هي الميكانيزمز الأدوات اللي من خلالها knowledge is developed. Uh, the good news are, uh, uh, in your exam, I may not ask you in details about these things because I know uh, uh, despite of having this chapter in this book, uh, I know it's some, sometimes. Sorry. I know this, so don't worry. Uh, this is for uh, uh, for your knowledge and uh, for your understanding. Okay. Kulli uh, chapter matloob. Okay. So it's 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 understanding. Okay. So, and how the knowledge is developed, how the knowledge is developed is related to the, uh, uh, to the epistemology position, okay? How the knowledge is developed, what are the theories of knowledge is related to the epistemology. But the nature of knowledge, whether the knowledge is real or not, so it's related to the ontology. So again, if we redefine the research philosophy, is much related to the ontology aspects and epistemology aspects. So the ontology aspect is related to the whether the knowledge is exists or not, 
The epistemology aspect is related to how the knowledge is developed and what are the methods, how you access the, 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 the knowledge. Again, for the nature of knowledge, whether your knowledge is right or wrong, or is it true or not, okay? Uh, is it true to have 45 students or what? So the, the idea here in, in defining the research philosophy is looking at two things. The first thing is your epistemology position regarding the theory of knowledge, and your ontology is related of being. Yeah, I'm using different words just to, to tackle different definitions. So it's, it's being. Uh, it's related to the existence. OK, related to the existence. Whether the reality is exist or not. Because sometimes you think it's real, but when you go in details, it's not real. Uh, it's not real. Yeah, it's, it's not real. But if from your point of view, it's real. But when you become closer and closer, it's not real. Okay? So the, the, the idea is here, is to examine your knowledge first. How your knowledge is developed, how the areas of this your subject is developed, which is related to the epistemology. Okay? What are the philosophical foundation of rela related knowledge? And the second question, what is the reality of your, uh, of your knowledge? Okay? And in addressing these things, uh, we have ontology, epistemology, and pragmatisms. Uh, also, the, uh, the things related to the uh, ontology, epistemology, is the axiology. I don't know if it's, it's written in this textbook or not. Axiology. Okay, so it's axiology. Axiology. Uh, so axiology is related to the values, your values. Uh, for instance, when I ask you questions about the tree, um, some students say it's called place. Others, they are looking at the tree. Others look at the green space. Others, they are looking at the, uh, the leaves. Others are looking at the ground. So explaining these things is bringing from your experience. Because you may uh, like places with the green or calm places. You say it's a calm place. You are looking in the tree, in, in, the, in the picture, to things that meet your expectations. You observe, and some students, they are not looking at the tree itself. Despite the tree was very big in the picture. If you look, go back to your answers. But, but the thing is, uh, uh, when I ask a student, they focus on the environment issues related to the trees. And very number of students, very limited number of students focus on the tree. Okay, they are, okay, it's green, it's calm, uh, it's, uh, it's too, it's large and big, etc. Et large and small, etc. Okay, so if I go back to your answers, I may uh, reflect the answers based on your experience. Okay, sometimes you are not looking at the picture itself, you are looking at your experience in the picture which is related to the philosophical foundation in, in your research. And this is, you are looking things in the observation that meet you. Okay, so uh, uh, this is the values, axiology. Sorry? Uh, I don't understand the question. Uh, no, it's not related to uh, to uh, to have experience or not. It's it's related uh, to you, to you. But when I read your research, because you are doing research, I may read your philosophical foundation. You, you, your philosophical foundation. I can see you are positivist. You are realist. You are relativist. 
you are a critical realist. You are a critical relativist. So it's, it's a matter of, as, as a supervisor, to understand you. Because you are, as a researcher, you are bringing your thoughts, you are bringing your knowledge, you are bringing your values into your research. OK? So it's, it's in other words. If you believe in numbers and figures, so you are positivist. You are looking at relationship between X and Y. And I didn't have figures for your research. This is not the things. Okay. The, it's you. Now, if you believe in numbers and figures, you are looking at the statistical relationship between two items. Mm -hmm. But if you are not, look, not looking at positivist, you are looking at the relationship between the students, mm -hmm. OK? It's the social actions between, between the students here in this meeting, in this class. Because when I ask a question related to the, what you observe in the class, I don't ask you uh, to count number of students in the class. Uh, you can look at, OK, see, uh, students are sitting in a particular order. For instance, friends sitting together, people who enrolled in the same time or in the same year sitting together, a, a clever students sitting to each other, uh, competitors are not sitting to eat, uh, each other. So it's, this is social actions of, of your settings. Really? So neighbors, neighbors, that means if your neighbor in this meeting, on this class, you can sit together. Maybe your dad and her dad is a friend, so you are, so, so the social context. So it's, it's when you go in details in the same question, which is I only threw one question in the table, what you observe in this meeting. You can go to the social relationship. Why is students sitting in this, uh, in this manner? Why is students sitting in this manner? It's, it means I'm not asking in a positivist. And I ask in relativist. So I'm bringing my experience now on the table. OK, students sitting. Can you explain to me this, the question, how students sitting in this class, or why students sitting in this manner? أعطوني أشوف. ها؟ لا يعني ليش الطلاب بقعدوا القعدة هذه يعني التشكيلة هذه نشوفوها؟ فريندز مثلا هاي واحدة فريندز أصدقاء وات إلز ممكن آه سيم جروب جروب وركس Could be randomly. Do you think it's random sitting? Let's <laughs> ask the last two, uh, two guys. Do you, th do you think uh, it's a random sitting? Ah. OK, and your friends, what do you say? Ah? Tamam. Uh, okay, other, another explanation. أعطوني تفسيرات أخرى. آه؟ أعطوني تفسيرات أخرى. تفضل. آه، they are matching. Uh, what's the? Um, yeah. Their minds. آه، يعني they have match brains. آه، خلينا نقول. آه، يكون comfortable with the friends. Comfortable. آه؟ yes, because you are left hand. So you are looking at, uh, you select your friends? Yeah. I mean, you are sitting with the friends, OK? If the left hand side chair is here, you will sit down here? Ah, is a kind of course is my mojud and I took a hand or I took a hand. Yes, so you see, so this is the context. You know, if the, the left hand side is uh, in here, so she will bring the friends with her. Okay, so this is social context. So, again, uh, this settings is not observed. Is not observed for people coming for the first time. So you have to involve in the social settings to understand what is going in the class. We come into the social settings, but numbering. Anyone coming from outside, they can, okay, number the student. One, two, three, four, five, fifty. So we have fifty st students. We have five cameras. We are, so uh, let's go back to the, to the same question. Which needs more experience? 
the relativist or the positivist? OK, relativist. Because, because, because relativist, because relativist needs to understand underneath the social settings. You need to understand the social mechanisms that's bringing students together to sit up in a particular place. OK? Uh, I will ask you a question. Why you are sitting in this place? Uh, Why? Why? What is the things you and Shahira? My friend. She's a friend. OK. OK, both of you. Why are you sitting in this? Friends. What other things? Friends. OK. So friends, why are you sitting in this place? Huh? Uh, so it's it's not social settings. It's not because of friends. My national have friends. Huh? No, no. The, the, tell me the truth. Is it because of friends, or you you would like to be in the first row? First row. Okay. Okay. You are laughing. So why are you sitting in this? Okay, friends. So sorry. You would like in the, in the middle. OK, yeah. So, so she's she reflecting things in, uh, to be in the middle. OK, so the, the thing is, uh, uh, as, as, he, as I said, in the, uh, uh, in the positivist, you can count. You can build relationship between two different items. But in the relativist, it's social settings. It's social mechanisms. Uh, the positivist, it's much related to the natural science. Natural science. The relativist is much related to the social science. Okay? So these two different things are different. Okay. Please. Aspects of ontology. Aspects of ontology. We have objectivism or objective and subjective. Let's go back to the question. The, uh, uh, the ontology, the ontology, it's come from the Greek words, is ontos. Ontos, it means the, uh, the being. Uh, so it's the science of being or the science of existence. يعني علم الوجود, okay, أو علم الحقيقة. It is a truth that we have 40 students, but if we accept multiversion of reality, it is a truth, again, it is a truth, we have 45 students. So we are objective. We are objective. But if you talk about the social settings, you are subjective. Again, students are the students. But you may consider <laughs> as a students, a students, as a socialist, or you can consider as a student, as objective. Objective, it means object, ashya. The, uh, uh, the feelings, attitudes, is not intervene in the social settings. But it affects the social settings. In terms of research, in terms of research, research, there is a big difference between objectivism and subjectivism. For objectivism, the people who believe on objectivism, they think that the social actors are disengaged from the social settings or from the business and economic settings. You are just applying through this. Why you are in the class? Because I'm, I recorded in this class. I'm enrolled in this class. Why are you in the class? Because I'm so it's, it's, it is a positivist. Uh, it is, I consider as any student enrolled in the class, he can be, or he, he or she can be in this, in this meeting. Subjectivism is different. It's in different, in different ways. It means the social entities by itself, it changes the social phenomena. In next meeting, I will go in details about the understanding of subjectivism and uh, objectivism. Sorry for this meeting. This, uh, much of a headache. Yeah, to go out there.